six of them. This is what happens when you find a shrimp boat processing their bycatch. Shark City, tons of them. Look at that, dude, this is nuts. Dude, they are, they're fired up, man. I'm worried about that. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Hey guys, it's Justin. I am excited to share with you the most insane cobia bite that I've ever gotten on in my entire life. My father-in-law, my dad and I, we went out with a charter captain out of Sebastian Inlet and we found a ton of cobia behind a shrimp boat that was processing its bycatch. As you can see, I'm fighting this undersized cobia. I'm trying to get him in the boat and a big bull shark starts chasing him. Okay, he's little, whoa. Oh, shark's on him. Oh, shark's on him. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was that was insane! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Shark of the whole thing on video. So fortunately, we were able to save that juvenile cobia, and we released him right after the sharks left. My captain is pointing out that there's a bunch of marks on the sounder, so I decided to drop down my jig to see if I could get one on artificial. Oh, oh, oh. Coming up. Oh, a little cob. A little cob on the J. Oh, dude, keeper. Sorry, slow pitches. Woo! Yeah! Go beyond slow pitch! Woo! That's dope! That is so dope! <laughs> I have no idea where he came from. This trip was incredible. I'm gonna remember it for the rest of my life. My father, my father-in-law and I, we all got cobia. My dad got a bonus mahi. And overall, just an awesome day on the water, creating memories with family. That's what it's all about, guys.